Let's perform the configuration related to Dunning in SAP system. The first configuration is defining the Dunning process. To do that, let's go to SPRO, SAP Reference IMG, Financial Accounting, Accounts Receivables and Accounts Payables and then we'll just click on this business transaction. Here you have to select this Dunning and Dunning procedure and here you should click on this Define Dunning procedure. Yes, when you click on this Define Dunning procedure, the system will navigate us to the new window wherein Maintain Dunning procedure list screen opens. Here, you have to click on New Procedure button. When you click on this, the again, the system will navigate us to the new window wherein I'll enter the Dunning procedure as ABCC and enter the description as, uh, what shall I enter? Okay, Dunning procedure ABCC. Okay, the first field under general data is Dunning interval in days. Okay, what is the first field under general data? It is Dunning interval in days. This means between two Dunning notices, what is the interval you need to wait? Here, I'll just give it as 5. And next, we have number of Dunning levels. Here, I'll just mention as 4. That means I can generate 4 Dunning notices. We have a field that has total new items from Dunning level. We use this field to let the system know how to calculate the total of open items which due for payment. But we do not require for our learning activity. So I'll just leave it as blank. We configure this if there is any special requirement is present. Actually, uh, we mostly use this for Russia and Germany organizations. Then we have minimum days in ARIA and grace periods. For our learning activity, I'll just mention as 1 for both the fields. And next, we have interest indicator. Yes, here I'll just enter as 0, 1. That means standard. What does it mean? It means standard. We have public holiday calendar ID. Actually, we use this field to let the system know about when to send the runnings if there is any holiday. We don't require this as of now. And then we have got select standard transaction dunning. What does it mean? That means the standard account postings will consider for sending standard transactions like customer invoice, etc. We do not select dunning special transaction. The special transactions are always specific to certain business process. Yes, the special transactions are always specific for certain business process. An example which I can give here is the customer down payment. Yes, the customer down payment which you will learn later. Now just click on this Dunning Level button. Dunning Levels button. Here you will get the warning message as the reference Dunning procedure has zero Dunning levels. Why we are getting this? Because we actually we are not copying from any existing Dunning procedure. Now, just press the enter key to skip the warning message. Yes, once you are done, the system will navigate us to the new window. You can see now in this screen, it has got four Dunning levels. What you can see? You have got four Dunning levels. First Dunning is on day one and then five days interval and then you have got five days interval. Later on day six, second Dunning. Likewise, day 11 and day 16. This is appearing from entries which we have done in the previous screen. Actually, this is appearing from entries which we have done in the previous screen. That is, 4 turning levels and interval days as 5. Got it? Great. In this screen, select always done in legal dunning procedure. This indicator is used to confirm printing the dunning notice in legal dunning procedure. Then I click on charges button. Here you will get the pop-up requesting for currency. So just type the currency as INA and press the enter button. Once you are done with this, again the system will take us to the new screen. And in this screen, we need to maintain the charges. Okay. 
Now I'll make the entries just like this. That is the Dunning level as one, minimum amount is 500, Dunning charges is 50 and okay what does it mean? I made the Dunning level as one, minimum amount as 500, Dunning charges as 50. So what actually this means? If the amount due is 500 or more, then we are specifying the system to add 50 as Dunning charges. You can also specify the percentage here as per your project requirement. From here, click on the minimum amount button. You will receive a pop-up window requesting for currency. So just enter the currency as INR and hit enter. Once you are done, you will get a new screen wherein in this screen, what I'll do is I'll just maintain the entries. So I'll maintain the entries as Dunning level 1, minimum amount as 500. Again, what does it mean? It means we are configuring the system in such a way that the Dunning notices will be sent to the customers only if the amount due is 500 or more. In previous screen, we actually have mentioned the Dunning charges with minimum amount. And in this screen, we have maintained the minimum amount to be due for the customer to receive the Dunning notice. Clear? Great. Now from here, click on the Dunning text button. Here you will receive the pop-up window requesting for the company code and account type. Here, just type the company code and select the account type as customer. Now, you may have a question as why do we have the option of vendor for Dunning notices? Why? This is because if the company has generated the debit memo to the vendor to send the Dunning notices for vendor, we use the Dunning functionality in that case as well. I repeat, this is because if the company has generated the debit memo to the vendor to send the Dunning notices for vendor, we actually use the Dunning functionality in that cases as well. For now, I'll select the customer and click enter. Yes, in this window, you just have to click on this new company code button and you will receive the pop-up window. Here, type your company code and press the enter key. Now, select the Dunning by Dunning area. That means, send the Dunning notice by Dunning area. In our learning activity, we have not created any. Yes, we have not created any, but it is a very good practice to do the Dunning by Dunning area. Now, select separate notice per Dunning level. It means, we have actually specified four Dunning levels and this check mark is used to specify the system to be able to send four notices. That is, each Dunning level. Got it? Now just click on the save button. You will be taken to the previous screen where you mentioned the minimum amount. From here, you just have to click on the Dunning text button. And in the pop-up window, type your company code and select as customer and hit the enter button. Yes. In this screen, we have to specify the format of the document which we will generate while creating the Dunning notice. In our learning activity, we have got four Dunning levels. Yes, we have got four Dunning levels. So let's maintain four Dunning formats. For that, I'll make the entries like this. Dunning level 1 form as F150 underscore DUNN underscore 01. This is actually the standard form provided by SAP. But like I said before, we can actually create our own smart form and assign it as per the company's requirement with the help of a back consultant. Similarly, what I'll do is I'll just make the entries for second, third and fourth with the smart forms F150 underscore DUNN underscore 02 and next F150 underscore DUNN underscore 03 and F150 underscore DUNN underscore 04 respectively. These are all SAP provided standard forms. Yes, these are all SAP provided standard forms. In this window, we do not have the option of save button. So what I'll do, I'll just come one step back. What I'll do, I'll just come one step back. From here, I'll just click on the save button. So guys, this completes our first activity. Yes, this completes our first activity that is creating the Dunning procedure. What is it? It is creating the Dunning procedure.
Next configuration. What is the next configuration? It is all about assigning the learning procedure to customer master data. Now I'll just click on up button to come back to SAP Easy Access screen. From here, I'll just go to change mode of customer master. The T code is FD02. What is the T code? It is FD02. For our convenience, I'll also tell you the menu path. Okay, I'll just show you the menu path. What it is? It is from accounting, financial accounting, master records, and now double click on change. When you double click on this, the system will navigate us to the new window. Here, enter the customer that is nine followed by five zeros that is Amazon and then enter the company code that is ABCC and press enter. What you have to do is you have to just click on correspondence tab. Here for the field Dunning procedure, assign the Dunning procedure ABCC and then click on save button. So I'll repeat the same steps for my another customer that is 9 followed by 4 zeros and 1. Done. Yes. So far, I have assigned the Dunning procedure for both of my customer accounts. Now what I'll do, I'll just create 6 invoices and then I'll post one in today's date and remaining 5 invoices on the date of 1st of December 2017 which is in past. Actually this is to show you that when I run the running, the system will pick only the old invoices which are due and not the invoice created for the today's date. So, I'll just click on the cancel button so that this will take me to the SAP Easy Access screen. From here, what I'll do, I'll just expand the document entry and then I'll double click on FB70 that is invoice. When I double click on this, the system will navigate us to the new window wherein I'll enter the customer, invoice date and today's date and then I'll keep the amount as 5000. And now enter the GL account of credit sales and uh, and also enter the amount here as well. And now just click on simulate button to verify the entries. And now then click on save button. Yes. Now I have posted the invoice document for today's date. What I did, I have just posted the invoice document for today's date. I'll repeat the same steps for creating other five invoices. Okay, the only difference will be the invoice date and the posting date will be in past. That is 1st of December 2017. So guys, I'll just mute my microphone as you are already aware of these process. Now, I have created total of six invoices. And out of six, five are in past and one document is having today's date. So let's verify the same in FB Alpha and report. Now I'll enter the decode slash O F B Alpha N in command screen and press enter. In this in and in this new window, you have to enter the customer number along with the company code ABCC and you have to select all items and then click on execute button. When you click on execute button, the system will navigate us to the new window and here you can see that there are actually six lines open for the customer. Yes, there are actually six lines open for the customer. Uh, actually, the five documents are posted in December 1st, 2017 and one document posted on 2nd of February 2018. Now, I'll run the running. I'll just click on generate new session button so that this will generate a new session. From here, I'll use the menu path that is from accounting, financial accounting, account receivable, periodic processing and then I'll double click on dunning or else you can also use the T code that is F150. Once you double click on dunning or if you use the T code F150, we'll get a new window wherein I'll give the run on date as today's date. What I'll do, I'll just give the run on date as today's date. For identification, you can just give any value. Here, I'll just enter as A, B, C, D, D, U, N and press enter. Now, observe the status tab. It is now showing the status as no parameters maintained. 
It is actually showing the status as no parameters maintained. It is because we have not done anything yet. Yes, we have not done anything yet. Now, what you have to do is you have to just click on parameter tab. What you have to do, you have to just click on parameter tab. Yes, in this window or in this screen, we specify certain parameters. For dunning date, enter the today's date and document posted up to today's date. That means we are generating the dunning for today's date for the documents created up to this date. And now enter the company code here and then enter the customer number. If you just give the customer number as blank, then the system will run for all the customers under the company code with the same dunning procedure. Here we have tab called free selection. Yes, if you observe, we have got a tab called free selection and we don't use this much. Yes, we don't use this much. And now what you have to do is you have to just click on additional lock tab wherein you have to enter the customer number and now just click on the save button. Now, if you click on the status tab, you will see the message as parameters were maintained. Now click on individual dunning notice button. What you have to do? You have to click on individual dunning notice button. You will receive the pop up window for adding the output device. The default code for printer is actually LOCL. What is the default code for the printer? It is LOCL. Now enter as LOCL and click on continue button. Yes. Now in this screen, enter the company code and then select the print preview tick mark. What you have to do? You have to enter the company code and then select print preview tick mark. I'll click on sample printout button since this is a IDEA server and my printer is not connected to the system. I'm just generating the preview. You can see how the output will be printed. It will have all the details requesting the payment. It has the customer number on the left top of the screen and even it has got a message as Dear Sir or Madam, the invoices listed below are due for payment. If you have paid the amounts due in the intervening period, please disregard this letter. Then we have printed the list of the invoice that are due. If you observe, we have printed 5 invoices which we have created with the document date and posting date as 1st of December 2017 and not the invoice created on today's date. Also, I want you to observe carefully, it has Dunning charge as 50 because as per our Dunning configuration, Dunning charge is 50 if the amount due is more than 500. Correct, right? Dunning charge is 50 if the amount due is more than 500. Agree? So guys, I hope you are now clear about the Dunning process in SAP. Normally, in company or real-time projects, there are two types of process followed for sending the Dunning notice. First is, they just download and print the document and send it in a courier or post. Another option is, they can do an enhancement that means write a custom program so that the system will pick up the email ID or fax number from customer master and send it electronically. So, this completes our learning activity on Dunning. So, this completes our learning activity on Dunning. Now, before ending this video, I'll just go ahead and clear all the dues for this customer by posting the incoming payment. This will prepare our SAP system for our next learning. Since you are already aware of the process of posting the payment, I'll just fast forward the scene. So the total due for the customer is 32,900 and I'll post the incoming payment for the amount of 32,900. Actually it looks like the system is considering the cash discount for the first transaction. Okay, I'll just manually remove it and then I'll just post the payment document. Yes. Now what I'll do is I'll just verify it in FBL file and report. All items are clear. Yes, great. All items are clear.